I'm uh, Larry Pedersen, uh, the uh, maintenance officer now of the Commemorative Air Force in Mesa, Arizona. I've been uh, working on airplanes for 64 years. Started out washing parts for the mechanics at a local airport and close to my hometown for a year, year and a half until car run me and my bike off the road and my mom wouldn't let me go out there anymore. So at 17 years old, I joined the Air Force. I was a crew member and helped maintain helicopters for four years. And then I started at Northwest Airlines uh, doing various tasks while going to tech school. I graduated from tech school and I started as a mechanic. I worked there as a mechanic until 1984. Got on as a maintenance foreman, worked as a maintenance foreman for five, six years. Got on as a maintenance manager until I retired in 2001. Started at uh, the Commemorative Air Force here in 2003. I uh, came to a veterans show and uh, talked to a gentleman and he found out I had my ANP tickets and uh, all of a sudden I was a member. And I worked, I've worked. worked on all seven of the airworthy airplanes that we have, and in particular the B-17. I ended up being a maintenance crew chief on that and a flight crew chief, and so I've flown with it numerous times around the country and uh, during the summer. And, uh, and then uh, I uh, was voted in as maintenance officer. I've been the maintenance officer now for over six years. And, uh, and it's been, it's been fun. I enjoy it. An unbelievably good group of individuals that are working together. And of course, the airplanes are remarkable. And, uh, and that's, that's pretty much my background and what I've done. At that time, Northwest had uh, DC-7s, Electras. Uh, they were just finished up with the uh, DC-8s, they sold them, so they had 707s, and I think that was it. And then a little later on, they got the 727s, and, uh, and I've worked on the DC-7s briefly. Uh, I was a young mechanic at that time, so the foreman would only trust me with a grease cart, so I did a lot of greasing on DC-7s. And then, uh, then I started working hydraulics and rigging on Electra's 707s, 727s, and then uh, the latest airplane I worked on as a mechanic was a 747s. And then after that, I went into the engine shop and uh, we completely overhauled. Uh, the, the radial engines then were gone when I went into the engine shop, but we overhauled Electra Allison engines we overhauled the JT-8 engines for the 727s, Pratt Whitney, Pratt Whitney engines, the JT-3s on the 707s, and the uh, JT-9 engines on the 747s. And then the, toward the end of my career, when I was responsible for overhaul and test of the engines, we were overhauling the 2037s and the 2040s on the 757s. It's her because she put up with all the shifts and uh, lack of holidays at times and in my airline career. And I would come home and uh, she had me take off my shoes and my clothes out in the garage. She didn't want it in the house. And at times it's the same way here. So uh, yeah, with the B-17, if you're working on the B-17, or any of these World War II airplanes, you're gonna get dirty. And uh, she puts up with all that and keeps everything tidy for me and, uh, and puts up with, uh, with all the airplane talk. You know, I know what, who Charles Taylor was and that he built Orville and Wilbur's uh, engine for their airplane, uh, the first airplane that, that flew. Well, I'm honored to receive the Charles Taylor Award. Uh, because it's uh, it's rewarding me for the hard work I put in uh, fly uh, not flying airplanes maintaining airplanes for 64 years uh, of all the other people that have received it uh, and I'm one of them now and that's a that's, for me it's a big deal.